Hi, this is Justin from AC Hamilton in sunny Preston in the northwest of England. And I'm just sat at a lovely new Yamaha clubbing over CLP 735. This is in the satin black finish. Let's open it up and have a look. Mainly featuring the Grand Piano CFX Grand Yamaha and also the Bosendorf. Those are two main pianos you'll hear. Lots of other features are also on the piano which we'll go into a little bit more detail. So have a listen, see what you think. Okay, so let's have a look on what we've got on the control panel here. So the two most obvious buttons, the one that everybody's going to use probably most of the time, maybe you'll only use these, which is fine. So this is the CFX Grand and the Bosendorfer Grand Piano. But there's lots of other things you may or may not want to go into. So we have the Piano Room button, and you get into the nitty gritty of uh, all the alterations you can make into the piano such as uh, the lid position of a grand piano obviously that changes the tone if you've got the lid shut it will be more mellow than when the lid is fully opened uh, we can change the brightness we can change the key touch and we can change the ambience you know the, the reverb uh, the tuning in case you want to detune it to another instrument but really most of the time you're going to just leave it at the standard 440 um, so there's all sorts of damper resonance damper noise string resonance all these things that uh, are the nuances of a real piano that you can promote or enhance or reduce the effect of the damper resonance the body resonance the expression where the pedal point is for half pedaling um, so there's a lot of adjustments in there if you want to you may never do or you may do in the future The voice button is going to give you a lot more choice of, uh, of voices besides the main two pianos. So you've got uh, the forte pianos like the Mozart um, recorded in a certain way to be like uh, the pianos that were around in those days were a lot different than they are now. So this is how they used to sound uh, when those uh, composers were about uh, just, just before I was born I think. Uh, electric piano, um, organ, so if you want to go into, for example, all the pipe organ stuff, some great pipe organ sounds in here. You can just scroll down and change them here. You can also mix any two sounds, so you could for example mix that with a choir sound using the dual button here so if you went to the dual button and at the moment we're showing the organ tutti mixed with strings the organ 
is very dominant there, so you probably won't hear much of the strings, but you can, with the balance, you can change the balance, so you can have like 90% organ or 10% organ, 90% strings and so on. Um, so there's all these adjustments that you can make and of course you can have any combination of two sounds mixed together so you just move the cursor change the sound to what you want and there you have it Uh, you've got the metronome here and you've got the rhythm so you've got you can actually play with a beat so let's just stick it back onto a piano put a beat on okay so you press the rhythm button it comes on with an intro again and it'll do an ending. You notice you also get a bass line with that so according to the notes you play there'll be a bass player playing with the drummer as well which is cool. As well as mixing two sounds together, you notice you've got dual and split. So you can also split the keyboard, have a different sound in your left hand to your right hand. You go through the functions, you can see all the way you can change these settings. So balance, for example, is a great one. So if you've got two sounds mixed together or if you've got a split, you can alter the balance between the right hand and left hand or the balance between two sounds you've got mixed together you, as far as recording you can export that recording onto a USB stick so you can take it to the computer uh, also there's a great app called smart pianist so you can get that on an iPad sit your iPad on the music rest and uh, get loads of additional features via the iPad